Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. I hope you're all doing great and welcome to, you already guessed it, your daily Pepe update. Um, not so bullish as yesterday, or yesterday was also not bullish because we just had this, uh, this well, little fall slash crash. Uh, and today we're bearish again. Uh, we, we've, like what I said yesterday, is that I expected us to dive further into the support level uh, between 12,500 and 13,500. Whereas yesterday we were still holding at 13,500 level with the 200 EMA. We broke down below that yesterday evening and now we're, we're testing a bearish breakout to drop down to levels lower. Uh, probably down to this level right here at around 11,000 and 10,000, which is by the way, always what I name the prices as. I think you understand. But um, so yeah, that, there's a little bit of a support level at around 11,500 as well, but I uh, 12,500, the support level right now is a major psychological level. So if that breaks, I don't think that would cause that much support. Uh, but in this video, we'll talk about whether this is uh, <clears throat> actually expected or not, uh, because it, it's 100% it's a possibility. But whether I expect it or not, it's, it's still a big question in my eyes, at least. So we'll talk about that. Before we get into that, though, if you want to receive daily trading signals from me, check out the links down in the description or in the pinned comments. There are the same links. There you'll be able to find instructions on how to join. Uh, and also just join our servers. So uh, feel, uh, feel feel welcome and feel free to join. But now let's get into uh, let's get into Pepe. So it's just overall Pepe is not doing too bad in terms of volume, but like it's 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 the same same old thing that we've been having problems with over the last couple of weeks. It's these sell-offs, like these big sell-offs caused by whales or something. Like like these moves. It's so manipulated at this point of time that I, I do not see. Or, you know, it really has two sides because the, the manipulation also means that we can also have it the other way around. But like sell-offs like these are the main problem. And if they keep occurring, which there's no reason to assume that they would not keep occurring, we are going to easily drop down to that level around 11,000 and 10,000. Especially when Bitcoin is uh, relatively weak like we are right now. So the best thing to do is to stick with the technicals and to wait conf for, for confirmation like i said overall with, with the volume pepe is still doing okay it's still if you, if you take a look at the last month we are dropping down um but uh, but overall st still a lot of people are buying pepe so right now if we're st sticking with with the technicals excuse me that's my coffee coffee machine the the big level is still twelve thousand five hundred. as long as we're above that on the four hour time frame we're not bullish, but we can actually get still get some bullish momentum. So the big test in the next 24 hours, I would say, is will we break down below that or not? And I really do not have a bias. Um, like I said, I'm also waiting com for confirmation. If we break down below 12,500, we'll probably find some support at that minor uh, support level around 11,500, but only to take a break retest and to start falling down towards that 11,000, 10,000 level, which in my eyes is a, a level that actually has potential to uh, to make some profits again from uh, from Pepe, especially if we get there towards the weekend. But for now, it's waiting. It's, uh, it's, it's really waiting for, like the main level is 12,500. If we're still above that in the next 24 hours, I would say we're going to get some bullish momentum from that, at least like, well, I'm not sure, at least if, if we talk about percentages, I think we can get like, excuse me, I think we can get like eight, maybe 12%, like 12% at the very most from it. I think that's a possibility, but like I said, the biggest test is holding it. And at this point in time, I'm not sure if we can. So that's my take on Pepe for now. If you do have any questions, then let me know as always. But for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.